Uh, y'all gonna have to excuse me. In the video y'all about to watch, there's a lot of noise in the background, so please, please bear with me on that one. And I'm out. Yo, you know, I'm about to set the record straight. I'm rocking with General Tito on this one. Man, I've been so disappointed in a lot of cats in this space. Ain't even funny, man. I had to recently unsubscribe from a few cats just this past couple of days. It's, it's been a lot of F Ninja stuff that's going around here in the space. And I do have to rock with Tito on this whole shame, blame, and spain bullshit. Because... It's been used as a tactic to silence black men who, who talk about certain issues. Let's just be, be honest about this. Let's keep it above. It's a gaslight tactic against black men. You've got something to say about something. Oh, why you shame, blame, and explaining? Complaining about these women, this, that, and the third. It's like, nope. Guys are not on here complaining about these women. Do you got some guys complaining about these women? About these women out here? Yeah, sure. But most guys are not even complaining about these women, bro. They just pouring out the fuckery. They're complaining about... They're just pouring out the fuckery and the propaganda that comes with these chicks because these chicks be on here making these narratives out here and then everybody gets painted with a bride bush. And if we don't say anything about it, it'd be, it be like, damn, I guess what they're saying is true. Because ain't nobody pushing back against it. You should be out here talking about this day and the third about black men, right? You know, they know it'd be some propaganda bullshit. But if we don't say anything, it gives an indication that they're saying the truth. It's so many people out here who actually believe what these shits are saying in the media narrative about black men we don't take care of our responsibilities just we just that in the third and a lot of that is not true it's because they've been sold this propaganda and no one's pushed back against it so we can't just stay quiet and not talk about the bullshit and then guys, they talk about situations. I would like to say this, that I remember the Black Man of Spirit, uh, the 1.0 Black Man of Spirit. I was like 13, 14 years old when I saw some videos from these guys. I remember the videos. I don't remember their faces or the name of their channels, but I remember these guys having these conversations. Cause I was in the anime community back in the day, but I remember these brothers talking about these issues going and they were going back and forth with these women too. The women was on there. They was in that space back in that day, like 2007, 2008, 2009. I remember these conversations. I remember watching a few videos. Dudes wasn't talking about skills and resources. This, that, and the third that was talking about, the issues that black people have and black men go through. They were talking about the propaganda that goes on in the community and the propaganda that goes on in the media. That was the whole point of space. It's this um, combat propaganda, right? And I'm hearing this argument that, oh, the man of spirit needs to move on. The black man of spirit needs to move on. And to be honest with you, I say... We have moved forward. We evolved. I say the black man of spirit moved. I'll say that the black man of spirit has evolved over the years because dudes are not just talking about quote unquote Keisha relationships in in the bullshit propaganda when it comes to um black men. Dudes are talking about like tech engineering some dudes are talking about cryptocurrency some dudes are talking about businesses some dudes are talking about basically social commentary doing co social commentary 
on pop culture and stuff, giving their opinions out. Some dudes are talking about sports. Some dudes talk about anime, gaming, hip hop, just then the third, right? So it's plenty of room for everybody to come in that space and make the content that they want to make. So I'm like, why why is people tripping? Why is people tripping so hard about guys, some of these guys wanting to talk about women? Or talk about the bullshit when it comes to women, like the fuckery and the propaganda. And, and here's my other question. It's like, why is this argument specifically with the black man of spirit and black men? I hope people don't realize that a lot of white guys been on this page just as, just as long as the um, black men. I hope you know that right. They're over there talking about the same things we're talking about. They, they're they talking about female nature, divorce court, just that and the third. So, like, I don't hear I don't hear other white men talking about how you guys just need to move forward. When you guys going to move forward? Like, I, I don't hear that. And I hear this argument that MOT made is like, yeah, I had to disagree with a few points he made, but this one I disagree with. He's talking about how what, the way you guys talk, if you was talking that way around these women, these women will run away from you. And I'm going to have to push back against that because how is that the case when these women keep coming back? I mean, if that was the case, Kevin Samuels wouldn't be as popping. These women literally kept coming back to Kevin Samuels. Like there was a glutton for punishment. You had celebrities talk about Kevin Samuel. You had Nicki Minaj. As you had a live chat with Kevin Samuels. BET talked about Kevin Samuels when he passed away. So how is that the case? Look at Fresh and Fit. These women keep lining up. And, he, and they keep going in on them. Call them dumb and all that. Using red pill talking points. Even these women are coming in this space. Recycling red pill talking points and mammal spirit talking points and trying to build a name for themselves in the channel. <laughs> what are we talking about here? Even dudes who are adjacent to the mammal spirit, like Antoine Daniels, Mere Tutorial Reviews, etc., etc., Anthony Spade, who else? Even on the white side, you got Rolo Tomasi. He's going on talk shows. He's getting invited to platforms. He got invited to Dr. Phil. Even Midtow. Even Midtow went with mainstream, at least on a local level. I remember this guy named Midtow John, right? White dude. He got interviewed by Lisa Ling. And they were talking about Midtow. And he, kind of, he sort of made Midtow look bad, man. He should have not have went because they're going to make... Everything they're gonna make Midtown look bad in these um philosophies and these different groups. They're gonna edit the camera and make it seem like they the bad guys. I wouldn't even bother going on these platforms. Who's that other guy, Martin Dating Coach? But he went on a platform and it was basically like seven versus one. Like he got cooked by all the women in there. And then you got the fact that red pill is the red pill got considered as a, a extremist group by the FBI. You got people in the normal life using slogans like it's not, she's not yours, it's just your term, she belongs to the streets. Is that or is that? So you can't say, people can't say that the the manosphere don't have an effect when you got all this going on. Even the FBI got involved. Well, it came to the red pill. And don't think Midtown don't have anything to do with this, too. Because, dudes, these politicians, they're complaining, especially these conservatives, complaining how dudes are not going out there and dating, this, that, and the third. They're just staying home and they watching adult videos and stuff like that. Don't think that these man of spirit slash philosophies ain't having a fact. You know, I almost forgot to mention that you got marriage institutions going out of business because no one's getting married. Juries, 
jewelry place is going out of business because nobody's getting married. Even like the mat mattress places are going out of business because no one's creating families like that. I think I do think that's gaslighting. It's, it asks for a statistic. That's never look. That, everything is not going to have a statistic on every aspect of life. If I can't use statistics, I use the next best thing. My experience, my observation, other people's experience and observation, and social currency. What's going on in society? All those examples I gave you, like what Kevin saying, it was just that in the third. You can pretty, you pretty much use that as like an indicator. That's like me saying Michael Jordan changed the game. Really? How did Michael Jordan change the game? Can you give me a statistic how Michael Jordan changed the game? You, from the FBI? Uh, you, you know how disingenuous that sound? But it, it, it's like going back to this whole thing about moving on from, the, from a certain topic. It's like you can't walk and chew gum at the same time. And, and I'm, I'm rocking with Tito on this until this propaganda, bullshit ass propaganda stops. We're not going to stop talking. That's like asking Martin Luther King, Michael Max, to move forward from talking about Jim Crow and racism. You got to talk about the issue at hand. And this whole narrative, and I hear on uh, MOT, he makes this whole economic power and um, organized narrative. It's like this, dude. It's like this. We live in America at the end of the day. It's like dudes, some dudes actually think that America works just specifically how it's, everything's written on the books. And that's not necessarily the case, at least 100%. I'm sorry, but we live in America. We live under this um, quote unquote white power structure in America, white supremacy, whatever you want to call it. You think we're going to overcome all this bullshit by basically going by the book? We're going to go by the book our way out of, out of this bullshit? And, and when I hear narratives like this, I honestly think this. I honestly think what you're really trying to say is just offer your way through it. Just offer your way through the bullshit. We can't depend on the system to get us out of this bullshit. We're going to have to do this shit on our own our own way without relying on the system we can't rely on politics I'm talking about political power we're not first of all who who ran for president was it Jesse Jackson's son you have black people who try to run for office and stuff they didn't get taken serious even if you want to use Obama Obama really didn't have any power he was just a puppet by the Democratic Party. And I'm pretty sure it was some things that he couldn't really do because he had to, you can't just say you're going to do this and that. You're going to need approval to do that. You're going to need votes from people on the left and the right. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people on the right was voting against some of the things that he wanted to do. So you got also got to take that into account and you talking about black men getting organized in, in political power? First of all, I mean, you're saying that you guys are making this narrative as if that's going to get respected. I don't care what's, what's on the book. That don't mean shit if it's not getting respected. The laws don't mean shit if it's not getting respected. Come on, you think if black men get together and try to get some political power, that shit's going to get respected in the political scene? And you actually think that we can get laws or bills that's specifically for black men, specifically for black men, not black people, but specifically for black men. I'm sorry, but this is just, this is just delusional. We're playing in the battle of the of Babylon, the status quo up in America. A lot of shit that we want, they'll probably vote against it. They won't even give us reparations. We're all black people organized together. What makes you think 
that black men are going to get something that's specifically for black men if we organize. The only way we're going to get things done for us if we do it ourselves. Like creating our own media. Certain businesses. And by political power. No one really has political power except for the dominant society. Okay, they run every damn thing. I mean, I guess Latinos got political power, right? Especially the illegal immigrants. Because they come here. They vote Democrat. Because the Democrat, they cater to them so they can get an audience on their side. And once these immigrants get all good, they feel like they got a good foot in America, they switch up and go vote vote to the right. That's not political power. That's just flat-out manipulation. I'm sorry, but uh, it's, it's just delusional way of thinking. No disrespect, but this is just delusional. And, and once we get organized, who will we go to? The Democrats? And, and I'm about to squash this whole organized argument. Is that there's this whole notion that we're not getting organized, that black people are not getting organized. That's why all the other groups can get things done for themselves because they're getting organized as if blacks aren't getting organized. They try to use the LGB. You know, a lot, the vast majority of them are white, right? The white LG, they, of course, the system, the status quo up in America, they're gonna get, they're gonna give them trinkets because the white LGB are representing the whole entire group. They're the face of it. Just like when it comes to feminism, and women, white women are like the face of that. They're like the face of feminism, and they're white. So of course, they're gonna give them some trinkets. It's not that blacks aren't getting organized. It's just it's not getting respected. That's just what it is. You you have blacks getting organized, talking about politics, getting with these people in the political ring, and, and talking about their issues. I re, I remember the videos. The videos out. Black people going to um uh, L.A. Black people in L.A. Right. Going to court, talking to these people in the um, political ring, talking about how they're getting treated in L.A. And talking about the racial tensions and stuff like that in L.A. I see black people going to the Congressional Black Caucus, right? Talking about how they've been disappointed in their grievances and talking about what they want. And you re- you literally got people... In the Congressional Black Caucus, talking about how they're not gonna do anything for black people. You got one dude who's trying, who's supposedly trying to speak up for black people in the Congressional Black um, Caucus, and I, I can't really say he's doing anything. He ain't really doing anything. It's just a bunch of word salad. You no, know, Mike V trying to he 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 low key trying to say that that's somebody doing something in the black. Um, Black Caucus, but the thing is, like, he ain't really doing anything. He just talking, giving out some word salad, and that's it. But when Ice Cube does it, all of a sudden, you ain't taking him serious. I'm sorry, but if black men want things to go the direction that they want to, we can't rely on pol- politics, man. We can't rely on getting organized. With I said we. We can't get organized before ourselves, not for po- political power, but for our own self-interest. We should get organized for our own self-interest instead of relying on political power. It's not going to get the job done for us. It's not going to get respected. The only, the only time we're going to get taken serious is we rebel against the system. Take the money away. We can just take the money away with our talents. With our athletics, we we just stopped playing football for about a whole year. I'm talking about all levels, like high school, college, even on a local level. You don't even need to do it on the professional level. Let them still play ball. 
stop playing football, basketball, making these college and high school money. If we just put our money together, start making our own businesses and stuff like that. We're not going to contribute to this society since they want to go against us. Then it, it, that lit, look, if you take black men out of the equation, this country would go to the stone ages overnight. And, and that's the truth. And we don't need political power to do that. We can just come together and do shit on our own self-interest. We don't need to go the political route. It's not going to get respected. You already got black people in certain positions and they're just tokens. They're not doing anything for us. They're in a powerless token position. It just doesn't get respected. I'm sorry, it don't get respected. And I, I've been having this disagreement with MOT. I wasn't feeling how he coming at certain dudes in his space. Coming at, he's talking about productivity. How are you talking about productivity? But yet you're going after dudes who are productive. You're going after dudes who got PhDs and shit. You're going after dudes who might got business owners or who's a hard working nine to five guy in the blue collar. Going at the guys who travel. Now he, he talking about how Austin Harmon needs to get killed, right? I remember that video. It's probably still out. It's like MOT. It's like, how, why don't you have the smoke for white guys and other guys? It's like you you always got the smoke for all the other brothers, but you you never had the smoke for any of these other guys. I mean, this guy dis. Tet, guys in Tet, like Theo Wife. He threw Theo Wife on that bus. He came at Theo Wife just because he was teaching guys to Tet. Giving guys skills and resources, right? I just ain't been feeling how dude been moving this past year, to be honest with you. But it is what it is. And I wasn't feeling how he threw, threw guys under the bus. He's talking about how, oh, these women are going to run away from you. These, these same women that you don't want or don't want you, you talk like that in front of them, they're going to run away. Like, damn, you going to throw the guys under the bus? The same guys who are probably supporting you, you going to throw them under the bus? But Tito already know what it is that we kind of dropped the ball. We're letting these guys come into space. And elf the space up without checking in. We just let these guys come in without checking in. But Tito's here to clean up. It's been a lot of guys out here I ain't really been feeling. I've been noticing that some of these guys will come to the space, get views, get some clout, get some recognition. And as soon as they get what they want, they switch up and throw the man, rest of the men under the bus. I'm not really feeling that. So I had to unsubscribe from some of these dudes, man. I had to unsubscribe from some of these dudes recently, man. I'm not going to tolerate this buffoonery, man. This fake-ass buffoonery. But uh, this is how I feel about the whole situation. I'm rocking with Tito on this one.